It's not just Roseanne and Kurt. We've got a special guest joining us right now to talk about the big day, the solar eclipse. Everybody's been talking about it. The rare celestial event will spread over 100 miles across New York State for viewing. So the eclipse is going to cause total darkness for up to four minutes, depending on where you are in New York. Joining us to help us understand how this phenomenon will take place is Mark Taylor, the senior manager of the Hudson River Museum. Nice to have you here. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Well, I, I gotta ask you, like, people keep calling this the, the Nerd Super Bowl. Yes. Is it? Um, there are people who travel the entire world to see eclipses. We have a former employee at the museum who has said that she no longer uses the word awesome to refer to anything other than a solar eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know you've brought some beautiful yes. uh, props here. Yes. Do you want to explain it to us? Okay, all I wanted to show okay. was to give people a sense of what's happening sort of behind the scenes. So here we have the Earth. So if you want to hold that, Rosanna. Oh, I'd love to. And here's the, the moon, rather. The moon. Okay. If you want to hold the Earth, you this can do that. This is the Earth, okay. Right. Okay, now this is the right relative size. The Earth is about four times wider than the moon is. Mm -hmm. But because the sun, even though it's really large, is very, very far away, mm -hmm. they look like they're the same size as seen from the Earth. So the moon is 400 times smaller, but the sun is 400 times farther away. Mm -hmm. Now, if we wanted to do the actual scale of how far apart they are from each other, so I'm going to need you to walk out onto the street, okay? <laughs> I'll be back. Like no, wait, don't go back. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay. But, but that's, that's how right. far away. Mm -hmm. uh, well, At least. Yeah, maybe not quite. <laughs> but the shadow is cast, and as the moon orbits and the Earth turns, you end up getting a curved track along the surface of the Earth. Look what I'm doing. Uh, there yes. you go. Don't Absolutely. dip it, though. I can see you no. doing that. You know, okay. it's one of those things, you, you call it the Nerd Super Bowl, but I love the math aspect of it. Yes. Because it is. The, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun. Right. But because of the distance, they wind up looking like the same size yeah. when it crosses in between. And explain to people, because I think when you're in you know, eighth grade science or maybe fifth grade right. science, you remember the relationship between the sun and the earth and the moon, but you kind of forget it over time why exactly this happens. Okay, it happens because the orbit of the moon around the earth is like this and the orbit of the earth around the sun is like this because they're almost in the same plane, mm -hmm. you can get the moon passing between us and the sun. If the orbit of the moon was tilted like this, then eclipses would be much more rare. But because they almost line up, it happens more often. And no other planet has eclipses quite like the Earth, so count yourself lucky there. All right, Mark, now time for stupid questions. Okay. Yes. So you need these sunglasses. Mm -hmm. the, uh, eclipse glasses, eclipse, not sunglasses. Okay, e eclipse glasses. Right. At what point do you need them? Like, for example, I'm going to be with Kurt. Uh, right. part of the day and then after we do our thing I'm gonna be walking home right do I need to be walking with the eclipse glasses on the entire time no because then you will bump into something okay, <laughs> okay. you'll be able to see <laughs> the only thing that you can see through these is the Sun nothing else is bright enough really. so at what point do I really need to have these on if you want to look at the Sun because the Sun is not going to be completely covered up by the moon from where we are you will need those okay or there are some other ways you can view it too. You can also use a card with a pinhole poked in it. Oh. I have a piece of foil here because it makes the hole nice and neat. Okay. And then what you do is you just basically, the sun's up there, you project and you'll see a little crescent. So any piece of card, any piece of paper Anything or Anything with a little hole in it, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, many people in their house probably have this precision optical instrument. A colander, yes. or oh. we call it in our house a sculabasta. Yes, <laughs> you can take your sculabasta and hold it up, <laughs> and you will see lots of little crescents on the floor. So oh, you do cool. not need anything fancy. Just make sure that if you do want to look directly at the sun, you're going to use something like this to keep you safe and look for other effects. Look for the shadows to act a little funny. They're going to look strange, sharp in some directions and others. So, um, yeah, there, there are effects to, to see. You'll notice animals acting a little strange. Oh, okay. Do people act strange? During well, it? people act strange in terms of paying $600 for a hotel room. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. Right. And traveling okay. around the world to see yes. it. Yes. There's another one, let's say every year, somewhere on the planet. Um, about once every year and a half. Mm -hmm. There are some years that have maybe one or two eclipses. Every now and then there's a year that has more than that, mm -hmm. but roughly every year and a half. So there's gonna be a good one in 2026, which will be visible from Western Iceland. If you like volcanoes, mm -hmm. go to Iceland, get a Ooh. picture of an eclipse with a volcano in the wow. same picture. Okay. And then in 2028, there's gonna be one which will be visible from south of Indonesia across Australia and New Zealand. So if you wanna get a picture of yourself holding a wallaby with a- Hey, these sound like good vacation plans yeah. to me. Yeah. Where right. are you gonna be? 
or am I going to be? I hope to see both. Today. Okay. Um, oh, today? Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to be up at the Hudson River Museum, which is up in Yonkers. And is there, are, they, are they doing anything special there? Yeah, well, we have uh, solar telescopes, which we're setting up, and we have various ways to view the eclipse, including projecting things off of a mirror, like this. You and have a lot of fancy gadgets. Mm -hmm. um, not very fancy. <laughs> yeah, you can get them all at home, right. or you can go up to the museum and watch it with you. Thank you so yes. much, Mark. Okay, we sure, appreciate no problem. It. Thank you.